How's it going? I'm Melanie with Simple Made Pretty. Welcome back if you subscribe to my channel. If you don't, there's a subscribe button. Today in this video, I'm going to be sharing a few kitchen items that are very budget friendly. Most of these items were made using dollar store, dollar tree supplies. You had to make this dollar acrylic sign, um, a little farmhouse tray, and a dollar tiered tray. So let's get started. For the farmhouse acrylic sign, the supplies that you'll need to make it are a Dollar Tree picture frame. I used a 10 by 10 picture frame that had a glass insert. And the Dollar Tree alphabet letters that you can find in the decal or poster section. And the first thing I did was remove the insert. After removing the insert, I'm left with the piece of glass, but I also took a piece of plexiglass that I found at Hobby Lobby for a few dollars for a large sheet. You'll notice it's covered with a protected uh, film so it doesn't get scratched. I took the glass insert and I cut the same size plexiglass for this farmhouse frame. Now, the reason why I used plexiglass instead of the glass that came in the Dollar Tree picture frame was so it didn't break, basically. You could use the glass and, uh, and uh, skip the whole plexiglass um, part of this craft, um, but just in case your glass ever breaks in the future, know that all you need to do is cut a little plexiglass insert. After I've put the plexiglass insert inside, I started to arrange the alphabet stickers on the picture frame. Um, I didn't stick the letters down all the way when I first put them on, just because I knew I'd probably wanna have it centered um, and them aligned a little bit better than they were. Um, so you might need to play around with the placement of your letters as well or you could put them on the plexiglass before you cut it so that once you cut it afterwards, your letters are centered. And I chose farm fresh as my phrase. You can use any phrase that you desire. Um, I also made a sign that said pie bakery, which you'll see next. The Dollar Tree does have two different fonts for their alphabet stickers, so I combined both fonts to make this pie bakery sign. I love this simple Dollar Tree sign hanging in my kitchen. It's just so cute. For this next project, I'm making a farmhouse style tray using five gallon large paint sticks found at Home Depot or Lowe's. They come in a pack of three for 98 cents. I took my handsaw to cut off the edge where it starts to curve so that you have a flat stick. And I did this to nine total sticks. Once you have the ends cut off, you'll want to arrange the sticks together so that you have seven in a row. I left a little gap in between my set. Then take the remaining two sticks, measure them against the other sticks, we're going to cut the end off so that it's flush so that you're sort of creating a sign you're going to take tacky glue or another glue adhesive and glue them to the back of the other sticks once the glue is dry you can lightly sand or trim off any rough edge that might be remaining you can paint your tray or leave it natural. I decided to stain mine with Briarwood smoke stain color. Make sure that you have a rag and some gloves handy. And I simply used a foam brush to apply the stain. Once your stain is dry, you'll need to attach the handles. 
I used rope from the Dollar Tree found in the garden section. I cut two small loops to size. And then I took my Aileen's Tacky Glue, which you can also find at the Dollar Tree. I glued the rope down, but you'll want to also use a staple gun. I highly recommend it if you're attaching these handles and you're going to be carrying heavy things on top. You can find a staple gun at any local hardware store, Walmart, Target, Home Depot, Lowe's, any of those stores. Here you can see the staples. I stapled my handles in the back and it's secured. I love how simple this farmhouse tray was to make and it can be used in any decoration in your home. I plan to hang mine up as a sign when it's not in use and I added a Hello Gorgeous decal cut with my Cricut machine to my tray. This next farmhouse kitchen project is a tiered tray that is made using Dollar Tree burner covers. They come in a pack of two at the Dollar Tree and for the center support piece what I used was a leftover Cricut vinyl insert. That's the insert that comes when you buy vinyl or iron-on um, from Cricut. Now you can use a paper towel roll insert to make your tiered tray. However, I recommend using something a little bit sturdier. So if you have something a little bit sturdier, if you don't use Cricut and don't have these leftover rolls, um, maybe find something similar. Now I did use a glue gun to attach these pieces together. If you have an industrial strength glue, go ahead and use that. Mine is held up very well by using the glue gun and um, I simply glued the bottom and the top two pieces together and you're going to want to press very firmly press them very hard together so that they stick together and I put the smaller one on top and of course the design is on the bottom so you wouldn't see that at all and then you're just going to let that dry next what I did was I took a sharpie and I traced around the edge of the pan just to give it a little bit of a farmhouse look, a little distressed, rustic look. Um, you don't have to do this. I've heard from some people that they've wanted to paint theirs. You could do some chalk spray paint on yours and, and then maybe do some of the Sharpie on top of that. There you see a little bit of distressing and the next thing I did was I cut three small pieces from my leftover tube and you'll see why in a moment. So after you have three pieces cut you can flip your tray over and you can skip this step if you prefer but I like to um, give my tray some dimension by adding these little feet on the bottom and it helps to support my tray you could do four I just chose to do three um, but it's totally up to you if you want to do this and once the feet are dry your tray is ready to be set up and you're ready to style that cute little tiered tray this little tiered tray will look so cute in your kitchen but it's also versatile enough to use in other spaces in your home you can see here that I added some of my favorite dollar store flowers pots and signs on my tiered tray to make a cute little display. It. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. And I also have tons of DIY and craft tutorials over on my blog, simplemadepretty.com. Go ahead and visit me there, subscribe. I have over 50 free printables in my library. And I also have over 70 printables in my shop that can help you with crafting, DIY, homemaking, home organization, and so much more. Thanks for stopping by.